Hey everybody, how are you guys doing this morning? I hope you guys are having an awesome morning. I hope you guys are feeling good and ready just to make a difference in the world and do something exciting today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm up and it is bright and early and beautiful and I'm feeling good. So let's get started. I'm gonna drive around and try to do some curb shopping this morning. Um, hopefully beat that garbage man, enemy number one. <laughs> um, and hopefully find some good stuff that we can use or sell or donate. So let's go see what we can find this morning, guys. All right, guys. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can uh, find something useful on the curb this morning. It's such a beautiful day. So, yeah, so, oh my gosh, the other day somebody was talking on one of my um, Facebook groups about how they had just found a fireplace on the side of the road and they were like, you know, they didn't think about getting it because they didn't think it would work, but then it kind of weighed on their mind and they were like, you know what, I'm going to go back and get it. And it did work. And that just reminded me um, of, it was last year, same thing happened to me. I found Fireplace and I did take a chance on it and I packed it up and I got it home and it even had a remote with it. And the remote was like tucked in the back of the Fireplace and it worked. Yeah, so it was supposed to have like a little fake flame going on and the flame um, part of it wasn't working but that's why I love what I do even more is because my husband is so handy he can fix almost anything and so when I bring things home and they don't work he gets them working and sure enough it was just some some motor or something that spun around these little uh, tinsely type things to make the uh, flame effect from the light and he was able to fix it and we use it and I still have it so yeah that was one of my cool finds and I just uh, thought I would share that little tidbit with you guys <laughs> uh oh guys look what I see here we might be just in the nick of time bye bye enemy number one <laughs> not gonna beat me my friend all right, we're in the clear. Get right in front of that guy. <laughs> you guys, I truly have, um, <laughs> I mean, I have been right in front of the garbage truck and, you know, hurried up and hustled and got something in my car right before he got there. So that makes me feel really good, actually. And of course, I'm not in his way. I make sure that, you know, I'm not going to, like, hold him up. But, um man it's just amazing the feeling of you know that I just saved that like it would have been smushed in that garbage truck within two minutes had I not been here at the right time and found it and um let's see one of you was asking me you know what exactly I'm looking for because um you felt like maybe I had passed up quite a few things that I could have picked up and so basically, um, I look for anything that I could use, um, anything that I could fix up, like a project, um, end tables, chairs, um, things like that. Oh my goodness, another enemy has arrived. They're tag teaming me, guys. What is going on? <laughs> oh goodness. Wow, we better get the move on. All right, anyway, um, yeah, anything, you know, uh, furniture, stuff that I can easily fix, um, things that I can use or things that I can sell. Um, and the thing is, when you do this full time and you go, um, you know, sometimes several nights a week and there's just so many things that you can find and save that you can't uh, woo. <laughs> no way that you could save everything <laughs> hazard in the road <laughs> um, 
you know, so I have to be a little bit choosy of what I take because, oh my gosh, you guys, they got TP'd. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> cool when it's not my house. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to admit, when I was a kid, I did that. That was kind of fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, now I've lost track of what I was saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have to be a little bit picky because otherwise, like, last summer, there was a point where my garage was so full. Like, it was ridiculous. Usually, I can sell things and flip things pretty quickly. Um, and that's why I have to be really choosy. Um, you know, make sure that I get the things that I can sell quickly. Um Otherwise, I mean, I'm never really too afraid to take some things, even if there's a chance that I won't be able to sell it, um, because I always can donate it, and that's just a quick trip, but, I mean, the stuff will pile up, guys, so, truthfully, um, you have to be a little bit choosy, or else you're going to end up in a hoard. <laughs> So, I'm really looking forward to, we have our community garage sale um, coming up, and I am so looking forward to that, because already, you guys, I have a lot of stuff in my garage, and then from the dumpster diving, I mean, I have my whole room, the corner of my room is filled with bins and bags full of stuff, um, and so I'm hoping to put all that out for the yard sale and see what I can get um, and whatever I can make off of that will go towards my gas money uh, to help me to be able to continue to, to do this as much as I do and um, oh, I saw a grill over there a scrapper would be happy to find that um, yeah and then whatever I don't sell at the garage sale I'm going to donate because I just can't hang on to things for that long and uh, time to make room for more new stuff. So lately I've been watching some videos. Have you guys ever seen any of these videos where these people go magnet fishing? It looks so fun. <laughs> That's something else that I would love to try. Um, so I think I might have to do that one day. Basically they just take a really powerful magnet attached to a rope and throw it down in the water and see what they can pull up. And it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool, the stuff that they find. Um, you know, I don't do much actual scrapping. I don't know enough about the different types of um, metals and stuff and what they're worth and how to separate it and all that. So that's just something that I personally don't do. But, man, that magnet fishing really looks fun. I think I'm going to try that one day. All right, I'm seeing some stuff here, guys. Let's see. Don't know if it's anything useful. Um, well, there might be a big picture there. Let's go see what it is, guys. series. That's kind of cool. I think we'll take that. It's a nice poster. good stuff this morning driving around. I did find the one poster and I'm happy for that um, but I didn't have a whole lot of time so I couldn't go to all of the neighborhoods that I typically would go to. Um, I have to get a couple things done today but yeah thanks for riding along anyway and uh, stick around because tonight we're 
going to the dumpsters. All right, guys, we're at Party City. Somebody dumped their shit in there. Nothing good. Alright guys, I see something here. Wow, well, I think this is our cat food, guys. That's amazing. That is awesome. Ruby can definitely use that. Let's see what else we got. Food, but I will take it, guys. It's a sweet score. Yeah, nothing in there. All right, guys. Big old thing full of cat food. Score. Hey, guys. So here I am back at home with a few things we were able to find. So in the morning, I did not find a whole lot of stuff, but I did find this big poster. I haven't cleaned it up, so I'm going to wipe it down, um, but the actual frame around it is very nice, and I do like it. So that was a good find. I was happy to find that. And then at night, I went to a lot of dumpster guys, and oh, I just did not have much luck. But what's great is that I did find this cat food. Unfortunately, I did throw away several, or not, not several, I think there were four bags. So one of the bags I did throw away after I had emptied it into this container. Um, and these I emptied most of, you know, like half of each one because the bags were all ripped. So somehow when it was uh, shipped, it must have uh, somehow ripped all the corners of the bag so they couldn't sell them. So that's why they were throwing them away. Um, so I dumped some from each bag because it was spilling all over the place. <laughs> so um, I have these two full containers and 
plenty is still in here. So I'm going to go ahead after I'm done with this video and just put that in a Ziploc bag. But what's so funny about this too is that my cat always ate a different kind of cat food. And I found a bag like this, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. I don't know. You guys probably saw the video. Um, and so I let her have it and she liked it so much that now she won't eat the other food. So I actually had just bought a giant bag of this exact same food uh, for her. And, you know, so I'm just so grateful to find it because it definitely will get used and Ruby enjoys it. So, you know, not every day do you get a big haul. Not every day do you find, um, you know, just tons of stuff. But even the small hauls count. They really do. And they, you know, usually are things that you will use. And I'm very happy with it. And I hope you guys had fun riding along with me and listening to my stories. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate you. So you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye!